Hybrids can be cool and they can be a real problem. What's going on YouTube? Thanks for watching. Um, so a lot of you know earlier this year, I had two fish uh, crossbreed in that aquarium, um, developed some hybrids out of it, and the demand for the hybrids has been astronomical. People wanting to buy them from me, people wanting to trade extremely rare fish uh, for them. Uh, some of them can turn out to be pretty cool, some get to be unique, I guess that's the big draw of them, but I'm not sure I'm going to sell any of these and it's because hybrids can cause a number of problems in the hobby. Um, so they can be cool, there, you know, there's some nice ones out there, uh, some made on purpose, some by accident, but they can be a real problem if not taken care of and kept in check, so to speak. So let's talk about it. All right guys, this is my 75 gallon. A lot of you have seen it before. In here I have F1 Nigraventer that were uh, born here. I have a couple random Heterotania, and then I have the hybrids that I'm going to talk about. These hybrids are from a Leptura screen female and a Malawi trout male. Uh, two species that have a similar shape and sort of similar colorations to where I think as hybrids they're going to be a really really nice looking fish. So there's about 50 or 60 in here and just as recently as two days ago I had someone offer me $800 for all of them. Um, and that is not a pro, that is a big negative. And the reason being, if somebody's willing to spend that type of money on a hybrid fish, you know that their intention is to do something with it further down the line. Uh, they wanna breed it, uh, they wanna grow it up and sell it. Nobody spends that much money on a fish just for personal enjoyment if it's a hybrid. Um, I'm sure it does happen, but it's very rare. If you're spending that amount of money, um, you know those fish are gonna be bred and sent out even farther down the line. So I did want to talk about the pros and cons of hybrids, and these are in my experience and in my opinion. Um, feel free to disagree, certainly. Uh, for the pros, again, I'm not talking about fish like OBs or firefish or parrotfish, anything like that. I'm generally talking about the fish that was accidentally crossbred in your tank and how that gets out into the market. The pros of these hybrids can be um, uniqueness. It's a very unique looking fish. No one else necessarily has it because it may or may not even exist anywhere outside of your aquarium. Some people really do enjoy that, even experienced hobbyists who have kept, you know, hundreds of different species maybe over the years. They're always sort of attracted to the look of a hybrid just to try to either guess what it is or it's something new that just kind of gives a little bit more variety to the fish that they see and they have if they've had almost everything else in the past. Uh, on occasion, uh, Newer hobbyists kind of get into hybrids and it does bring them in, uh, into the hobby. More people in the hobby, uh, the better in my opinion. But there's a lot more cons in my opinion than pros. So let's talk about that. As we're discussing cons, we'll do a quick feeding. So the negatives that I see in hybrids, uh, number one starts with the people. I can't tell you how many times over the last decade I've seen on a Facebook group or an Instagram chat or anything like that where somebody that's newer in the hobby expresses some excitement or some interest in a, hob in a, in a hybrid that someone posted a picture of or was talking about. You guys know as well as I do that people usually are in love with hybrids or they hate them. Um, the people that hate them, they will let you know. So uh, often I've seen some newer hobbyists come in and borderline get cyber bullied by people, um, experienced hobbyists, kind of you know, bullying, pushing them down, saying how ridiculous they are for even considering hybrids. And that's the quickest way possible that I know of to get someone to leave the hobby as soon as they ever even started it. So that's definitely a negative. Another negative people that actually sell the fry, meaning that not only will male hybrids get out, but so will females. I don't think I need to go into a lot of depth as to why that can be a problem. Um, when these things are, are bred over and over again, uh, it does dilute the species, it gets out in the open market, and then five years later, you've got a lot of these fish around the country that have 
almost changed people's views of what they look like because they've started to see the hybrids so often. It sounds ridiculous, I know. It happens all the time and it doesn't take much. A couple people breed them, send them out, that's all it takes to get around the country. It's just like wildfire when it spreads like that. So a lot of people do ask them, well why don't you just sell males, make some money, you don't have to worry about breeding down the line. Um, true, but I'll ask you this question. Uh, for you out there that have all male tanks, how often do you buy a fish, a male, put it in your aquarium, and it lives its full life in that aquarium? The answer is probably very, very low, if not zero. Almost every single aquarium fish, African cichlids, usually they have more than one home over the course of their lives. Rarely does someone get a fish and keep it for years um, for its whole lifespan. They end up trading it, they end up selling it, um, sometimes they donate it to a pet shop if they can't find anyone else to buy it. So when that's the case, um, by the time the first person who got the hybrid sends it on to somebody else, eventually the message will be lost that, hey, this is a hybrid fish, no question. A couple generations down the road, if it's bred, you don't know what you end up with and no one even knows what those fish are anymore. Last con that I was gonna talk about, and that's the misrepresenting of the fish. A lot of people try to breed multiple species in one tank, like I do. It can be done well, it can be done very, very poorly. I've done it both ways. It's worked, it's been a disaster. Um, people breed fish a lot to make money. Nothing wrong with that. I do it, I enjoy it, but I also, you know, I also like the money from it. That's part of the game. Some people will be so driven to make money off any possible fish that they can produce that they don't care if it's a hybrid or if it's a pure. If it's a fry in their tank and anybody shows any interest, they're gonna sell it for as much money as they can. So take for example, these Lepturus greens and the trout. That's a fish that naturally has a very similar body shape and one's blue, one's green. If they crossed, and we're gonna find out because I'm gonna keep a few of these to see what they look like. If they crossed, it might just look like a bluish green trout. Um, if people don't look at it that closely, um, or more ex inexperienced hobbyists get it, they're probably just going to assume that it's one or the other. And then that's gonna lead to maybe they put together a group thinking that that could be a breeder male and they find females for it. Um, and they might not even be aware that the fish that they're using as a breeder male is actually a cross and it's not actually a pure fish. Uh, happens all the time, it's very unfortunate. I certainly don't fault anybody at all for trying to make money in the hobby. I know as well as anyone how expensive it can be. But most people are really good about it, but you will have the people that are gonna misrepresent the fish that they have, um, and they're gonna misrepresent it in a way that they feel they can make the most money off of it. They don't care at all what happens to the line of fish down the road, one generation, three generations, five generations down. It's almost like the, the practice you did in grade school where everyone sits in a line and they tell a secret to the person on the far right. By the time that message gets all the way to the person on the left, um, the message they heard was completely different from the message that was given to the first person. So every generation a hybrid is allowed to go, um, people are gonna more and more accept it as the norm type of fish the more they see it. And next thing you know, you almost have another species of fish that a lot of people aren't even aware is a hybrid. Um, I have seen some fish sold on from very reputable breeders and I could never really put my finger on what they are. I don't know a lot about a ton of fish but I do know a lot about haps and if I can't identify a hap usually fairly quickly and a lot of people are like this as well if it looks a little bit funny and you can't put your finger on it there's a pretty good chance it's a hybrid. Generations down the road it might even be something minute as a small different marking around the eye. It can be very small, the differences in these, but nevertheless, it does cause problems. Um, that's my view on hybrids. So let me know what you guys think. I know this is an absolute hot button topic. I'm probably gonna have people message me offering to buy them again. I'm probably gonna have people messaging me telling me that I should never be allowed to keep a fish again because a hybrid was created in my care. Uh, there's no middle ground, it seems. There's people that hate them, people that love them. Um, I don't know where I really fall on that. I am excited to see what these fish like, look like, so I guess that means that I like some of them. 
Um, but as far as you know, letting these fish out into the public, it's really, really a hard sell for me. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do to this point. And I've got a list of people, some of you even watching, that I know really, really want these fish. So if I do decide that I'm not going to sell any of these or give any of these away, I hope you guys can understand that. So give me your comments in the below. Um, if you want to send me private messages, by all means, you can do that via Instagram, Adam C. Solo. Uh, just give me your experiences. What do you think is a pro? What do you think is a con? What do you think I have completely wrong in this whole video? Let me know.